Hi Star Owners, my name is Crystal and welcome to Advanced Coupons channel. Bamboo deals are common in retail market where you buy one item for a full price and get the other one for a discounted amount. Now with our Advanced Coupons Premium plugin, we will be able to give you different options in keeping or creating BOGO deals. You could target a specific product or a specific category. You could also use the whole items in your shop to, for this BOGO deal. So let me introduce it with this video. Let's start. First, of course, all you have to do is just buy and download the Advanced Coupons Premium Plugin and make sure also that the Advanced Coupons free plugin is installed or else the premium version won't work. Now, once activated, all you have to do is just go to your site's dashboard and then go to coupons and add new. And let me discuss to you the different options that you could use. First, of course, I will be creating a coupon code here. Let's say I will name it as test. And then our the new location of our BOGO deal is now on the general tab. It used to be under the usage limits, but we've moved it on the general tab under the discount type. So all you have to do is click this drop down option and you'll be able to see the BOGO deal or the BOGO option and click that. Um, with our free plugin, you'll have the option for the BOGO using the specific products that would be for the customer buys and customer gets. Now, with the premium version of our plugin, you'll be able to use different options here. We do have the specific products, of course, the any combination of products. Let's say um, there are five items that if one of them or if any of those five items will be carted or will be added in the, into their cart, they will be eligible for the deal. Now, we do also have these product categories. I do suggest that you use one category at a time because if you put two categories here, it means that you have to buy not just on one category, but on both categories. So you need one item on each category for the BOGO deal to be triggered. Now, we also have the option of any products. It means that any products in your site, once, let's say I would put three here. It means that any three items in the card, the customer will be eligible for a bobo deal or for a discounted item or for free items. So let's say I will be using the any products here and then I will be using and then I will be using for the customer gets I'll be using any products too and then I will put one here because I will only give one item or one discounted item and I will be using 50% discount. We, uh, the discount type that we do have here would be override price. Override price is perfect if you are giving free items. You could use override and then zero. But oh, you could also use the fixed discount. And then you could, let's say, put it for $5 only instead of paying the full price. But I will be using the percentage discount here and I will be using 50%. And then... We also have the additional settings and which you could edit, of course. We do have the default text here, but you could also, of course, change it if you want to. But I will be using this default values. Since I will, I will be using the any products, they will be, or once the customer is eligible, or they carted three items using these coupons, I'll, they will be redirected to my shop. And then uh, we'll be using, or since on our premium version, we do have the auto apply coupon, I will be activating this one. However, we do suggest or highly suggest that whenever you use the auto apply option, you use the card conditions too, to support or to trigger the coupon directly. So I will be using the card quantity because on my 
customer buys, I do have here if they bought at least three items from my shop, or this would be three paying items full price. And then I will be using the cart quantity. So if I do have, let's say I will be using more than here. I will be using more than two because technically this means three. If I use more than three, that means four. So I'll be using more than two. So that when this cart or this condition has been met, the coupon will automatically be applied. So let me save this one. I have activated the auto apply option here. And let's test it. Okay, let's save this one first. And then let's go to my site and test this coupon. Let's check it here. And then let's visit my site here. So let's go to the shop right now and let's start adding three items and let's see if the coupon will be triggered. So let me add this beanie here for $5 and then let's add this album for $15 and then let's add cup, so 16 So let's see my card since I already have three items in it and let's view it. And let's see if the coupon has been applied. So there, the coupon has been applied and now I am eligible to redeem the deal. So I have to check it because I have to add one item from the shop. Let's say I will be adding this belt because it's $55 and it's the most expensive item in here. And let me try to add it and let's see what will happen. Okay, so what we do have here since I've added the belt for $55, if you can see, it shows $55 here. And the discount has been applied to the least amount product or the least amount price product in the cart, which is the beanie for $5. This is how Bogo runs. It will always be applied to the cheapest item in the cart instead of applying it from the items that you chose it will be applied to the cheapest item which is a really good deal for a store owner like you now if let's say i will delete this item one paying item and let's see if you are still eligible okay and let me delete this one too because there are still three paying items here Okay, since I only have two paying items here, this coupon will be deleted. And this is because of the cart conditions that I've set. I only have two paying items here. I only have two products in the cart. So I have to add another one for the coupon to be triggered. So there, the notification appeared again. And let's view the deal and Let's look for another item here that is a bit expensive so that let's see what will happen to the coupon and where the discount will be applied. Let's see. Let's view the card. So there. If you can see, since we already have two albums here for $15 each, it's supposed to, supposedly that would be for $30 right $30 now one album has been discounted to 50% and now it's for $7.50 and the total for it would be $22.50 so I hope this helps and I hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions just comment down below and we will be attaching um, other relevant videos also that could help you with your Google deals don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Bye!